So tell me, do you still get surprised by bill due dates, especially those annual ones like property taxes? Do you need a quick and easy touch point in your life that is your source of truth when it comes to your money so you can check it off the list and get back to life? Me too! Which is why this video is all about how to create a bill calendar in Google that will keep you on track and organized. And if we haven't been properly introduced, hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a retired mama who is obsessed with teaching everyday women with everyday money issues how to manage their paycheck so they can meet their financial goals and not work until they're 80. Oh, and stick around until the end and I'm gonna give you three ideas of other money-related dates that you can also put on your bill calendar. So I'm curious, do you use a bill calendar now? I used to use a paper calendar, but I found that I couldn't be trusted to transfer all those things from one month to the next, so I went digital. But I'd love to know what you use or what you've tried to use if you want to leave me a comment. There is one simple truth in my life. If it's not on my calendar, it's not going to happen. Just ask my friends. It's just my reality. Mostly because I can't be trusted to remember anything. I mean, I don't know about you, but on any given day, I'm juggling 10 different things in four different places. Dave Allen of Getting Things Done often says that your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. Whoa. Give this video a like or a heck yeah if you feel that as much as I do. My calendar is my source of truth. It's my digital assistant. Okay, really, it's my digital mom. It nags me about when I need to be somewhere, sometimes even how to get there and what to bring and what I need to do, like pay a bill or make sure a bill has been paid. Honestly, I would be lost without my calendar. So try this on for size. You've heard the saying, time is money. But in my life, time is just like money in that I have a finite amount to spend each week. Let me explain. In any given week, we all only have so many hours to work, eat, sleep, commute, go to the grocery store, etc., etc. Except maybe Beyonce. She's magic. But the rest of us mere mortals, we only get seven days a week and 24 hours in each day. Well, Think about your money like this. Just like you only have so many hours in the week, you also only have so many dollars in each week, or in each paycheck if you prefer. You get paid a certain number of dollars with each paycheck, and each one of those dollars has a specific job, whether it's to pay a bill, save your for your emergency fund, or put more groceries in the cabinets. Once those hours are scheduled, they are spent, so to speak. And organizing your bills into appointments on your calendar is super similar. Setting up a calendar specifically for your bills lets you see what's coming up in the next week that you need to spend those dollars on and on what date that appointment is going to happen. So just like with time, once those dollars have appointments, they can't be spent on anything else. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how to set up a free bill calendar using Google Calendar right now. And as promised, stick around and I'm going to give you three other money appointments you should add to your bill calendar, so hang tight there. Now, let me flip the camera around and show you how easy it is to add a dedicated and customized bill calendar to your Google Calendars. You're going to love it. So here we are in my calendar. I'm on my desktop and you want to go to your Google Calendar and then you want to go to the left hand side and then way down here at the bottom on the left you see where it says other calendars and then there's a plus sign so select that plus sign and then select create new calendar now you're going to give this new calendar a name and I'm just going to call it new calendar you can give it a description if you want to and it'll set it at the time zone that is your default. Next, click Create Calendar. And you're gonna, it's going to tell you that count the calendar is in process and that it's been success successfully created. And that's great. Now we're just going to click the back button up here in the upper left-hand corner. And that takes us back to the calendar. And if we click here on this new calendar, so I'm gonna deselect this guy for a second. So here we are on the brand new calendar that we created. 
And once it is created, you'll see it in the whole list of calendars. So like I have several different calendars here. And now you can select it, which we know it's selected because it has a check mark, a check mark. And then you can start entering your bills. So let's say that May 1st over here, let's say the rent is due. And you can go down to more options and that'll give you a different screen. And now you can say it's, all, uh, it's May 1 to May 1. I make them all day and I'll show you why in just a second. And then you wanna make sure that you set it up so that it's repeating. So it's gonna repeat monthly on the first is what I want. I don't want it the first Saturday. I don't want it weekly on Saturday. I don't want it every weekday. Don't want it annually. So we're gonna click custom and we're gonna say it repeats one every month on day one. So it repeats every month, it repeats one month, every month, and it repeats monthly on day one. All right, so we can say done. If you wanted to, you could add a notification, which is like a reminder, sometimes I need that. So you can set a reminder of three days before, if you wanted to, I'm gonna say save. And now there's my rent that is due. You can also color code it. So if I go back in there and I edit it, I can actually give it a different color because that brown, I am never gonna see that. Let's make it green, not green. I like my paychecks to be green. So let's make it this nice blue. And then save, and I'm gonna save this and all following events. And now it shows up, see down here on June 1st, no matter what month I go to, it always shows up, the, the rent is always due on the first. All right, so we're back to May, there we go. All right now you can just start adding all of your appointments to it. So let's go look at this other one I have over here. So this isn't my personal calendar. This is actually a mock-up calendar I created for my free weekend money makeover course. We go over how to plan your paycheck on your calendar there too. So I'll link that in case you're interested. Um, it's full of all the tips I give my girlfriends. So as you can see, all the bills are on here on the dates they're due. If a bill is automatically deducted, then I usually put it on the date it gets deducted, knowing that because of weekends and holidays, the actual date it hits the bank may be one or two days off, but I know it's around in that area. I also make all of my bills recurring appointments like I showed you, so that they show up each month, quarter, year, depending on when that bill is due because as I said at the beginning of the video, I cannot be trusted to set this up every month. I need it to work for me. And then I do set reminders, like I said, of notifications so that I will get an email or a text the day the bill is due or a few days before the bill is due if it's something that I stress over. Let's say, for example, if you're manually paying a credit card and you're really worried about late fees, then if I were you, I would set the reminder three to five days before it was due just to make sure I had time to log in and schedule that payment or put the check in the mail. The other super nice thing I love about having a dedicated bill calendar is that when you don't want to see your bills or when they're just cluttering up the screen, simply uncheck the box and voila, they are gone until the next time you need to check things, which for me is typically on a Sunday afternoon. So I'm gonna go back here because I wanted to show you how, um, if you're looking at this on a monthly view, then they show up like this. And I always set my bills up, if I go into this nanny, I always set them up as all day appointments on whatever day that it happens. And the reason I do that is because if I look at this on a monthly view, then on the monthly view, they're always up here at the top so they're not down here where my actual appointments would be. All right, so if I set it to all day, then it sorts it up here. And that way it just doesn't, it doesn't clutter up my screen. It doesn't get in my way, but I'm also not gonna miss it. All right, let me go back to 30 days. And like I said, I put everything on here. Notice my paycheck is on here. My emergency fund savings is on here. When I need to pay the credit card, 
everything is on my bill calendar because that way I don't have to remember. The calendar does what my brain cannot do. Now for the bonus I promised you. Okay, the bonus three other money type appointments I have on my calendar. Number one, my property tax due dates. I have to pay them twice a year and they're at weird times, so I have an appointment on my calendar on the due date. I've also set up a notification two weeks in advance and one one week in advance, so I have time to mail the check. It's one of the few checks I write each year, so I need to make sure I give myself time to mail it. Number two, estimated tax payment due dates. So if you're in the US, those dates are January 15th, April 15th, yes, the same day as when regular taxes are due, June 15th, and September 15th. And number three, and this one has, honest to goodness, saved me several times. I put a reminder on November 1st to use up all of my flexible spending account I may have left so I don't lose it, because that is a use it or lose it kind of thing. I seriously cannot live without my calendar, and having all of my life in one, including all my bills, has honestly saved me more than once. If you wanna know even more about bill calendars and how I've used them and to organize my money and my life, I wrote a fairly long and detailed blog, and I'll link it in the description. If this video has been helpful, I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing. It helps my business, and I truly appreciate it. Oh, and one more thing, I'm taking requests. If, the, if there is a personal finance topic you really need a video on, let me know and or DM me on Instagram and I will do my best to get you one as soon as possible. And with that, I will see you next time. Bye!